You can easily duplicate any view within a Revit project and then change aspects of the duplicate view in various ways. For example, you might want to show a plan view at a different scale, or emphasize or hide some objects to create an electrical plan or a furniture plan, or a plan in which you'll indicate floor finishes. A view can only be placed on a single sheet in your document set. So, when you need to place a view on more than one sheet, you can duplicate the view and then place the copy on the sheet. Revit provides three different tools for duplicating views. You can simply copy the model geometry, copy both the model geometry and any annotations that already exist in the view, or copy the view as a dependent view. For example, the Level 1 floor plan view currently shows walls, furniture, and room labels, but does not include dimensions, door and window tags, electrical receptacles, and so on. To address these needs, you can create several duplicate copies of this floor plan view and then use one for the dimension plan, one for a traditional floor plan view, one for the electrical plan, and so on. The tools for duplicating views can be found on the View ribbon in the Create panel. In the Duplicate View button, there are three tools Duplicate View, Duplicate with Detailing, and Duplicate as Dependent. Click Duplicate View. As soon as you do, Revit creates a new view. When you look in the project browser, the floor plans branch has been expanded, and you can see that Revit has named the new view Level 1 Copy 1. Right click the new view name, choose Rename, and change the name of this view to Level 1 Dimensioned Wall Plan. This view is now ready for you to add dimensions. Be aware that the walls, doors, windows, and furniture are visible, but you can no longer see the room tags. Room tags are view-specific elements, and when you simply duplicate a view, Revit does not include any view-specific elements, such as annotations and details. So if there had been door and window tags or dimensions in the original floor plan view, they would not have been copied either. The original Level 1 floor plan view has some useful information, such as the room tags that you can include in other plans. Rather than first switching to the Level 1 floor plan view and then using the tools in the ribbon to duplicate that view, you can simply right click the view in the project browser to access the duplicate tools. This time, in the shortcut menu, choose Duplicate View, Duplicate with Detailing. Again, Revit immediately creates a copy of that view and it becomes the active view. Duplicate with Detailing copies both the model geometry and view specific elements, such as annotations, dimensions, detail lines, and so on. This time, to change the name of the view, use the Properties palette. Scroll down to the Identity Data section. Click in the View Name field, and then change the name of this view to Room Plan. While you are in the Properties palette, also change the scale of this view to 1 8 of an inch equals a foot, or 1 to 100 in the metric file. As you can see, the room tags have gotten larger. You could have also made this change using the tool in the View Control bar. In the view control bar, change the visual style to shaded. You now have several copies of the level 1 floor plan, each of which looks very different. But each is simply a different way of displaying the building model. When you change any aspect of the model, such as moving a wall, that change will immediately appear in all of the views. And these copies can be at different scales.
The third method for duplicating a view is to create a view that is dependent on the original view. The Duplicate as Dependent tool makes a copy of the original view that remains synchronized with the original view. So, for example, if you were to change the scale of the original view, the dependent view would also change scale. Dependent views are used primarily when you need to break the view of a large building into several segments in order to fit the view onto a sheet. In the project browser, right click the level 1 floor plan view and choose Duplicate View, Duplicate as Dependent. Do this once again. Now, in the project browser, you can see that there's a new branch for the level 1 floor plan view. With the branch expanded, you can see the two dependent views. Also in the drawing area, you can see the crop region. When you create dependent views, Revit automatically turns on the display of the crop region within those views. Rename one dependent view left, and then rename the other one right. Make the left view the active view. Select the crop region, and then drag the control grip on the right so that the right half of the floor plan is outside the crop region. Then, make the right view the active view, select the crop region, and then drag the control grip on the left so that the left half of the floor plan is outside the crop region. Switch back to the level 1 floor plan view. When you turn on the crop region in the view control bar, you can see the two crop regions from the dependent views. You can select them if you wish and make further adjustments. Make sure that they overlap somewhat. That way, when you place each dependent view onto a sheet, each will show a bit of the adjacent view. You will also be able to add a match line and view reference labels so that each will indicate that the floor plan continues on another sheet. Note that when working with dependent views, any changes you make to the view scale, detail level, or visual style of any of the dependent views or the parent view will automatically propagate to the other views. For example, when you change the level of detail of the parent view to medium, then switch to one of the dependent views, you can see that its level of detail is also set to medium. 